Hey guys, welcome back to another Magical Box tutorial. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create some really quick and easy trees like the ones you see here in this image within maybe five or so minutes. Stay tuned. Now that we're in a Magical Box, so let's go ahead and switch to Palette 3. Zoom out, delete the cube. Create the basis for our tree trunk. Create a new object. Put it on top of the tree trunk. And then go to the top down view in orthogonal mode. Switch to voxel mode. 2D, and we're going to create X's around this tree trunk. And you want to try to make your X's somewhat symmet not symmetrical, circular. You want it to make a somewhat of a circle like this. Oops. And if you mess up, just hit Control Z to undo. You see when that goes out too far, go ahead and delete some. Okay, now that that's done, we go to the side view, select all. Control C and then Control V, drag it up, rotate it, and we're going to mess with the scaling. Every time you scale, it's going to mess up your position, so we want to adjust it accordingly. And Control C and Control V and repeat. Okay, now that that's done, it looks kind of derpy as a comparison to the trunk. So we can scale on the Z axis, maybe something like that to make it more realistic. And maybe over here you can delete some of this, just give it some randomness. Okay, I'm happy with that. We can go ahead and go to world mode and lower the tree, um, the tree accordingly to the trunk. Maybe group them together. Now I can go ahead and color the tree. As well as the trunk. As you can see, we have a very quick and easy looking pine tree made in Magic of Oxford. You can always mess around with settings like here and modify if you want different effects. So for instance, if you want to make it more blocky, you can dilate it. Actually switch to the right color. You could dilate it to make it more blocky. Or you could erode it, which I don't recommend because it sometimes doesn't work right. But you can also always mess with the scale of what the uh, tree leaves are doing. So if, if you think it's too tall, you can always adjust it. 
say something like that. But I like this, so I'm going to keep it like that. Now, if you want to add snow or something, just uh, go over to the shaders tab and go down to, what is it? Sand. Select the color of what the uh, snow will look like. In this case, I'm setting the color index one. So it's going to set the snow color to this color right here. Go ahead and hit play. Oops, actually, let me uh, select the tree leaves first. Hit play. You should drop it down. Then you can alt left click on the gray box and then you can change the color. Keep in mind that this sand shader is not come standard in Magical Voxel. You can find a link in the description to my Google Drive that has the Magical Voxel shaders folder that I use. So you can go into render, adjust the sand to make it look somewhat more realistic. Alright, and there you go, you have a pine tree, whether you want it in snow or not. And let's go ahead and get started with the other tree. Okay, with this oak tree it's going to be a little more difficult, but concepts should still be the same. Go ahead and make the basis for the tree trunk. I want to make my oak tree somewhat tall, so I gave it a height of 70. I might not use the entire height, but it just gives me some room to play with. We're going to go to voxel shader mode, and then to the shaders tab. Select mandel bulb, hit play to create that. I don't want it to look like this, so I'm actually going to flip it this way. And drag it down. And actually adjust it to where you want it to be relative to the tree trunk. I want it somewhere like right there. Let's go ahead and get rid of this floating block. That does not look realistic so I'm actually going to get rid of it. And actually add some tree leaves here. Maybe I'll move the top. Right there as well. Get rid of some down here. really no form to what I'm doing. I'm just clicking randomly where I think makes looks makes it look good. Get rid of that floating block there. And down there. Okay. Actually I have a few floating blocks. I'm gonna get rid of that real fast. Okay. And now we're going to do the same process again with the mandel bulb. But actually, the first you got to constrict this object to the voxel size. Go to world mode and create a new voxel object. Same concept as before. Go to the voxel shader mode and then mandel bulb selected, shader set. And now that because because this bottom part is covered by this tree and tree trunk, it's actually okay and I don't need to get rid of that. And adding that actually gives it a little bit more shape and height to what I want. And of course you can always adjust, whoops, make sure you're out of voxel shape and move. You can always adjust to your liking by deleting or adding blocks.
And unless you're going for a, I guess, pixelated look, you don't really want these floating blocks here. Unless it's like leaves falling down, then I guess you can have them there. For me, I don't really like them, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's go ahead and go to the render mode and see what it looks like. It looks a bit too high. So I'm just going to constrict the object and lower it ever so slightly. So now, take a look at it. And it looks pretty good. Maybe add a little bit more here. It's actually still looking a bit too high, so I'm actually going to decrease this, the height a little bit. Yeah, I think that works. Let's go ahead and give it some color. And give color to our tree trunk. And there you go, you have a very simple tree oak tree actually in Magic of Oxholm. Probably took me about five minutes. And this was actually really easy. And after watching this tutorial, I'm sure you guys can do it too. I'll just give it more effect. If you want the Borderlands look, you can give it an edge. And then mess with the edge settings if you want. Mess with the exposure because by default Magic of Oxholm always makes it really low for some reason. And um, Let's say you want to texture this tree. A really quick way of doing this is to go back to model, have a set of colors ready for what you want your tree to look like. This might not look good because I'm doing this on the fly, but maybe a gradient of this should be fine. Maybe that's a little bit too bright. Have that. Go to the object, and actually, I want to combine the first layer and second layer of my tree leaves into one by selecting both of them in the world editor and pressing U combine them into one object and go back to object mode select all and then we're gonna go to the palette and select the left click drag the colors you want the tree leaves to have and then right click random you could see it created a random assortment of the colors we have had here See that this color is still too bright, so obviously adjust it to your liking. And then switch the gradient again. And if we look like this, you can see while these colors might not be the best, it looks more textured. So if you zoom out far enough away, you can tell that that's pretty much a tree with some texturing. Obviously, you can play with however you want your tree to look like, and always fine tune it. This is just for the tutorials, for simplicity's sake, so this is what I have. Hopefully this video helps, and good luck in Magical Voxel.